making a tater tot casserole for tomorrow. It is so wonderful. It's an all-in-one main course. It's got a great shortcut ingredient. And it's make-ahead. Check, check, and check. I'm gonna assemble the casserole today and bake it tomorrow. I'm just browning some breakfast sausage with some finely diced onion. I'm gonna let the sausage cook all the way through. And while it does, I'm gonna grab that shortcut ingredient. Frozen tater tots. So easy. All I need to do is get them into a buttered baking dish. This perfect layer of tater tots is gonna get topped with the brown sausage and onions. And it's fine that this is hot. It's gonna have a chance to cool down before I add the other ingredients. Once the casserole bakes, those tater tots just turn into potatoes. You would never know they were frozen. Okay, that is all the sausage. Now I'll start working on the egg mixture. This casserole has a lot of cheese, so I'm gonna grate up some cheddar and some Monterey Jack. It's probably the cheese combination that I use the most in my kitchen. Okay, that's enough cheddar. I'll start grating the pepper jack. Love pepper jack cheese, it's so creamy and I love the spice. Okay, that's it for the cheese. Get it out of here. I've got four eggs that I cracked into the pitcher and I'll add a cup of milk. It's whole milk just to make the whole thing a little more rich. And speaking of rich, a little bit of half and half, just about half a cup or so. Now the sausage is really flavorful and plenty salty, but I'm gonna add just a little bit of seasoned salt, about a quarter teaspoon. And for some spice, a little cayenne pepper. Really simple. And then I'll whisk this together. Okay, that is nice and mixed. So I'll add some green and red bell pepper. I seeded it and pulled out the membranes and then I diced them really fine. Okay, the last thing to add to the egg mixture is half of this cheese. The other half is gonna go on top of the casserole. I'll give it a quick stir. And then this Beautiful concoction gets poured over the sausage, which is cool by now. And look at all that chunky wonderfulness. Make sure it's all even. And then the rest of this cheese goes on top. This is a cheesy, cheesy dish. Now I've just got to cover it with foil, stash it in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow when it comes to baking and serving, well, that's gonna be a cinch. I'll get the casserole into the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. Then I'll take the foil off and bake it for another 20 minutes. Then when it's hot and bubbling, I'll get it out and onto the counter. And everyone will have a lovely hearty helping. Oh boy, check out all the tater tots and sausagey, oniony, eggy cheesiness. Mmm, fantastic.